Yo, what's going on, everybody? What's going on? Um, I'm doing this video here. Um, it come it come across my timeline, and um, kind of doing this video. I mean, I mean, y'all, 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 pretty much know that I'm on I'm on a, a, a spiritual journey. I'm trying to get closer to God and get to know Jesus and um people who don't understand <clears throat> that God is real he's real and I'm gonna tell you something right now I don't know he telling me this or whatever but I really gotta feel that God about to show people he's real it about to be some changes on earth. It about to be some changes that God is really trying to show people that he's real and he's angry. and He's trying to give a chance to get to know Jesus and change our lives. Okay? But, um, if I'm not talking loud enough, excuse me, let me see if I can turn it up a little bit here. Test it one, two, can you test it? Okay. I think I'm, I think I'm loud enough. And I'm, Brazil had a festival. I'm going to um, play this. Um, so let me put my headset in. Okay, put my headset in here. Um, Brazil had a festival that they couldn't done it. They couldn't do the festival for a while because of the, you know, the pandemic. And they just now start to you know, get out, doing their little festival and stuff. I'm trying to plug the thing in, y'all. And so they decide they're going to mock God. Okay, there you go. Um, we're going to go ahead and play this right here and um, check this out. First of all, we have the Fair Use Act. Um, so I can use this, use this video. So, um, yeah, so we're going to use the Fair Use Act on this. So. What you are looking at are video clips of the recent carnival that took place in Brazil. The Rio de Janeiro Carnival is a world-famous festival that attracts people from all over the world. It is known for its vibrant costumes, music, and dance. Unfortunately, some groups choose this moment to make a mockery of Jesus and the Bible. After almost two years without activity due to the pandemic, this year's carnival resumed its activities. However, a samba school in Rio de Janeiro known as Gavioels de Fiel decided to mock God and the Bible with their themes and parade. The Gavioes de Fiel school is always characterized by creating parades with themes that mock God and his word. This year, they created a representation of the creation in a red paradise, where they expressed that sin is something natural to human beings, and not a consequence of disobedience. This action surprised many and especially Christians. For this particular performance, the actors portraying Adam and Eve donned red costumes and white contact lenses to create a frightening look. Meanwhile, the actor representing Jesus was suspended in the air mm. for a full wow. hour. According to Gavi O.S. Wow. Field, this year's theme represented religious freedom and intolerance promoting a unity of all faiths and sexual diversities where people could say amen. This is not right. Mm. How does promoting religious freedom and intolerance translate to insulting other people's religion? True. It true. is reported yeah. that after the parade, the actor portraying Jesus reportedly began to feel discomfort from being suspended in the air for a prolonged time and had to be rescued by firefighters at Anhembi Sambadrome. The man, whose identity is unknown, was hanging from the top of a moving and decorated truck, which was one of the main attractions, in addition to Adam and Eve. He was taken to the ground quickly so he could get medical attention, and he still had consciousness at the time. Nevertheless, a few hours later, he was transferred to Santana Hospital's emergency room, where doctors checked on him. His medical condition at present is still unknown. It is not the first time that an actor suffers a sudden event when this type of activity in Brazil depicts Jesus trying to make fun of him. Because the last time when there was also another actor dressed as Jesus crucified and defeated by Satan, it was rumored that the man later had a car accident. What can we say to wow. this? These people are mocking God, 
take a look at this satanic display going on and people are just sitting around cheering, claiming to be having fun. Is this how to have fun? This is outrightly mocking Christianity. They have someone dressed up, acting like Christ. This is this is wrong. This is uh This this is this is this is definitely wrong. Uh this is wrong, y'all. This this is this is wrong. You you don't do this. You don't you don't do this right here. You know, you don't mock other people's religion. You, you, you don't mock other people's belief. And you don't, doesn't mock God. You don't mock Jesus. And, you know, we know a lot of people don't believe in God and stuff and all that. That's something we know. A lot of people don't believe in God, you know. So, you know, that's your you know, progress if you don't believe in God. But, you know, don't go out there and um, you know, don't don't you go out there and um, you do this. You know, you don't do stuff like this. And they also have blasphemous people dressed up as Satan, attacking Christ wow. and stabbing him with a pitchfork. Wow. These people are not ignorant of what they are doing. They know that this is a mockery, wow. but can a man mock God? The scripture says wow. God cannot be mocked. Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. Whoever mm -hmm. sows to please their flesh from the flesh will reap destruction. Whoever sows to please the spirit from the spirit will reap eternal life. See, look at this. This, this is what the devil supposed to be dragging Jesus. Galatians chapter 6 verses 7 to 8. After such a demonic display, people are later surprised really by the level right of now, wickedness babe. and destruction that comes on the earth. You reap whatever you sow. If you dine with the devil, why would you be surprised when he shows up and displays what he is good at? These people in the name of festivals and carnivals are literally parading Satan around their towns, worshipping him. These are the description of demons. So you know you, you you mock God, you mock Jesus, you mock a religion. Basically, the day of the and white idiots. And look, look how the sky opened up. This all is the next day, the very next day, y'all. Look at this right here. Heavens open up, fury. Watch it hit that statue. Look at that. You went out there, you done all this, uh, and now you now look at look at this. This is the wrath of God. See, you see when you play with when you play with God, this is what you get. This is what you get. Catastrophic rainfall slamming southeast Brazil, now killing at least 46 people. Entire roads washed away in the downpours. Donations now rushing into the state of Sao Paulo as hundreds of rescue workers continue searching for survivors. Landslides and flooding followed the huge weekend deluge. É uma coisa sem explicação, é muito rápido. Ou você corre, ou você morre. E Não dá para carregar nada, né? Só a sua vida. Então, que é o principal, né? Sao Paulo's governor saying in a statement that nearly 800 people are left homeless and at least 1,700 are now displaced. On, on this video right here is basically God give his warning. God basically show Brazil I'm not pleased. You know, Jesus have a sense of humor, but he's not laughing on this. So. God just gave a warning to the whole world by striking the Jesus statue in Brazil with lighting. What you are looking at is actual footage of the Christ, the Redeemer statue being struck by lightning in Brazil. Over the years, the stature has been struck by lightning a number of times. In 2008, 
the statue was struck by lightning and its right thumb was destroyed. In 2014, another lightning strike caused damage to its head. The statue is currently facing damages due to a lightning strike which occurred on the 10th of February 2023, striking it right on the head. The video of the statue being struck by lightning has sparked a lot of debate online. Many wonder if this is an act of God. Is God wrath coming to mankind for creating graven images against God's commandments? Many believe that God is sending out a very important warning to the inhabitants of the earth. Of course, many people will not take this serious. Here is a few facts. No, 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 people are not going to take it serious. You know, it, yeah, God giving us a warning. You know, we pissing him off. My thing is this, um, if you want to mock God, mock Jesus, mock people religion, do it at your own expense. Don't do it at mine and me and me and me and other expense. Don't get me wrong, I, 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 I'm pretty sure not everyone in Brazil was, was at that carnival or like what they saw, but guess what? God wrath is God wrath. You know, when when, when only his children is going to be saved when Jesus come. You know, it's not if you bad, you ain't good. It's with the ones who save, who born again, the only one going to be saved when Jesus come. So, don't do that at my expense. Don't, you know what I'm saying? You know, if you got people here do some stupid stuff like that, don't do it as a God gets, God get angry and want to take out the United States. You know, so I don't want to talk about this no more because the simple fact is I'm trying to get closer to God. And this is, this is, this was, it was wrong. It was wrong, and I guarantee the people in Brazil feeling real bad right now. You know, I blame it on the mayor, I blame it on the president, I blame it on whoever, the leaders of Brazil, even let that happen. The blame go with them first. And then that school. So, put a comment in the comment section what you think about it. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. It's crazy.